Hello and welcome to the 8th lesson of our WordPress beginner to advanced course where our ultimate goal is to become job ready to start providing freelance services with WordPress and Elementor on Upwork, Fiverr or whatever freelance marketplace you would love to work on. So without further ado, let me give you some information regarding this specific lesson, what you are going to learn from this video. I'm going to talk about widgets available on WordPress backend and especially I'm going to talk about custom HTML widget where I'm going to show you how to add a Google map using custom HTML widget on your WordPress website. So without making this into a longer one, I would love to take you back on our WordPress dashboard and from here if you just hover over on appearance, you are going to find this widgets option. So let's click on it and we are going to find all of these widgets lists available here. So before I start adding the widgets, let me take you back here and here is the website which we have created step by step throughout this course and we have created these menus as well in our previous lesson. So let me just take you a little down here and if you just notice these are the widgets. As you can see, we have got this search widget available, then we have got this recent post widget available which is just uh, showing our visitors all the recent posts we have got on the WordPress site and then we have got this recent comments which is showing us the comments made by me or by the other people on the website here as a list. Alright, so these are the widgets and this is how widget works and if I just take you back in the real examples, if you just notice we have got this archive at the very starting. So if I drag this archive widget here, it is going to show all the posts based on the months on which month we have made posts it is going to show you the list so if i show you by clicking on done and if i reload this page here and let me take you back to this bottom part here and just take a look we have got this archive widget added and it is showing us on June 2019, we had some posts. If I click here, it is going to show us all the posts made on June 2019, which came along by default with this WordPress installation, as you can see, hello world, and on June 2019. So if I take you back, or actually I don't have to take you back, if I take you a little bottom of this page, you are going to say, uh, see these archives, and if you click on January 2021, when we have created this website and we are creating this uh, course. So if I click here, it is going to show us all the posts by this month available which we have made uh, on our WordPress website, okay? So this is how this widget works, which is archives. Now let's talk about audio. If you have got a specific audio file, you can simply give the title to this here and then you can upload the audio file here and the audio will be appeared as well. If, as you can see, displays an audio player so that your visitors will be able to click and listen the music or listen the message, whatever you have got. So as I don't have a audio file as of now, so I can simply ignore this one. Let's go for the next widget, which is calendar. So by adding calendar, you are going to show your visitors on which date you have made blog post on your website. So if I show you in real quick example by dragging calendar here, I can simply uh, type out post dates. Okay, just as an example, if I click on save and click on done, if I reload this page and let me take you the bottom of this page, just take a look, we have got this post dates as the header, then we have got this January 2021 uh, when we have created this blog and we have made few posts on January 20 and on January 21st. So if I click on January 20, it is going to show us all the posts we have made or updated on January 20. And if I take you here, if I click on January 21st, it is going to show us all the posts we have made by this specific date, okay? Now let me take you back to the home page. Let me take you to the widgets page. And then we have got this categories section. So as of now, we have got few categories only, only three categories. One is freelancing, another one is WordPress, and another one is uncategorized, which we have to delay. But let me keep as of now, no problem. So if I take you back here, and if I add category, it is going to show, as you can see, a list of drop down of categories. So if I drag and drop it here, it is going to show, as you can see, if I click on done and reload this page, it is going to show all the post categories available on our WordPress website. 
okay so now people will be able to click here and they will be able to see all the post related relevant to freelancing okay as you can see categorized as freelancing categorized as freelancing all right so now let's say they want to read posts about wordpress if they click here on wordpress they're going to read all the posts and find all the posts came along with this wordpress category all right so this is how widget things works and then we have got like custom html gallery image matter navigation menu pages so let me show you before i show you custom html let's talk about this gallery thing so if i drag this gallery here and it is going to show us the title so let's say i want to give a title like our uh, office as just as an example our office um gallery all right and then it's showing me that i have to upload few images so as i already have got images uploaded on our wordpress library which we have talked earlier so i'm going to click on add image and then i'm going to select the image which we, which i want to add as my gallery item so let's say i want these four images as my gallery items now if i click on create a new gallery and then after that insert gallery and if i click on save click on done if i reload this page you are going to find that we have got this gallery added now i'll be able to customize this gallery as i want so if i click here let's say let's click on edit gallery and from here as you can see if i click on columns from let's say two so two images will be in one column it is going to look nicer so as you can see thumbnail size sorry image size is going to be thumbnail which is going to look nice or we can keep it to medium large or full size whatever we want so let's keep it to medium and let's see how it works let's click on save and let's reload this page just take a look how our image gallery is looking like okay so this is how the widget things works now let's go for the important one which is custom html we mostly use custom html to add like uh, let me just show you an example learners world okay as you can see these images appearing here i have added custom uh, added these images by using custom html now if someone clicks here uh, they are going to visit my course link directly okay from here now let me just take you back again here and let me click on done here and let's talk about let's drag this custom html right here okay so whenever you have got like affiliate things affiliate marketing or whatever you want to implement let's say you want to add a custom image from other resources you can use this custom html part as well so let's say i want to add a location to this custom uh, through this custom html widget so if i take you to maps.google.com and then we are going to find out the location which we want to visit so let's say i want to visit islami bank limited islami bank bangladesh limited this one and as you can see we have got this um address here so if i click here it is going to show me the address information right here right so now let's say i want to add this bank's location let's say this one okay I want to add this bank location into my website here so how can i do this simply click on this share button from here and then if you go to embed a map you are going to find this um, custom html codings here okay so you can select the map from let's say large if you want to add the map as the large uh, map so simply you can simply dr uh, drag it like this or actually zoom in zoom out or whatever you want and then let's click on copy html and after that let's go back to the widgets page and let's click on or actually paste the code right here and then you can put the information let's say islami bank uh, bangladesh as an example if i click on save let's click on done if i take you back here and if i reload this page you are going to find we have got this map added on our website okay so this is how you can use this custom html feature to add any map any image any video or whatever you want or actually it is going to work uh, for embedding uh, usage so let's say you want to upload any video sorry you, you want to add this add a video on your wordpress website's footer simple you can simply drag this widget from here as you can see this part 
and then you can simply give the title of the video upload the video and then click on done it is going to be appeared right here so this is how widgets work on a wordpress website so i believe you have got some good information throughout this lesson if you did please give this video a like and share this video and the whole course with your friends via social media like facebook twitter instagram or whatever platform you are using and let them learn as well and thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video have a good day